Hello, and today I'm just coming to you with a quick tour of the all new iTunes 9. This was released yesterday at Apple's September 1st music event. And with every music event that Apple does, comes a new version of iTunes. And this year, more than most, there's a lot of new features that have been added, so let's talk about them. First, here, looking at the cosmetic thing, it looks a bit different. You've, by default, you've got this split up album view so you can see tracks actually in the albums. I prefer the usual view or, or indeed cover flow, which you can still get access to. But I've never liked the, the design of iTunes, and I think this just makes it more kludgy, so I'm not a big fan of this. Also, the, the close buttons on Mac OS X. The maximize, close, and minimize buttons have have been moved so they're they're vertically placed, which is a departure from Microsoft, which is strange since Apple, Apple makes both the things. I also think it's strange that these icons now don't have any, any color associated with them which makes them look deactivated that's just my opinion but that's all the cosmetic stuff out of the way now let's get on to the main event of the itunes yesterday apple released a social networking service just for music called ping which is basically like facebook for music and you can follow artists and follow other people and find out what they're they're listening to and artists can interact with their audience and it's all built into iTunes 10 so um, if we hit the ping button there you can see all the people that I'm following there's actually not that many more artists today than there was yesterday when Steve Jobs showed it, so what you see in the keynote is pretty much all you're going to get. Um, but here are some of the, the artists you can follow, and if I just show you what a profile looks like, go on to Coldplay here, you can see kind of a stream of their activity and the most recent comments, almost exactly the same as as um, Facebook. Um, Users can also set up their own profiles, and um, if we go and and you go on the side here, my profile. You can, there's some privacy settings that come up by default, but you can choose whether to share your updates, to, to share who you follow with people. This will also share by default your iTunes purchases and things, but I just set this up a few um, a few minutes ago. So here, here we go. You can see my profile. You're supposed to be able to upload an image there, but it was very wonky with image uploading, and that's one of the things of this because it's the first version of iTunes 10 iTunes 10 without any bug fixes is still quite buggy. When I tried to upload an image, it would not let me do it. Ah, so that's ping. Lastly, in iTunes 10, as you might be able to see down there, um, we have a new icon. So with the new version comes a new icon. So what do you think of iTunes 10? Have you downloaded it for in Windows or Mac? You can get it for free today from Apple.com. And what do you think of it? There will certainly be more in-depth coverage coming about what else happened at the, the Apple event. But I'm just curious to know what you guys think. Well, this version of iTunes, do you think the new views are, the new views are an improvement? Do you think, do you think they're worse? Uh, what, what do you... What do you think about ping? Will you use it or is it just trying to 
hard to be Facebook because a lot of these a lot of these artists are already on Facebook. But I'm just interested um, to know what you guys have to say. Uh, anyway, anyway, thanks for watching this video and I hope you liked it.